Alright, I'm gonna do a quick trade analysis and why I take it. Move my mic closer to me. Alright, starting with silver. Okay, so let's start with silver. Silver, we've seen silver, you know, coming down and retracing back up above this monthly key level. Right. So far, you know, we haven't really closed below yet. We still have 17 days, but it is quite evident that we are more than likely very highly going to push down. But before we do that, I'm convinced that this week would be, you know, more bullish than bearish. And so with that, you know, I want to scalp short term. I mean, not scalp, but swing. I want to be able to take positions. Uh, I could move this. Because of the current price action, it kind of shows me that, okay, price still wants to go up a bit. It came down and it, it just quickly came back up with a lot of momentum. It's losing a bit of steam here. You can see last night it has lost a bit of steam. And, you know, I have a target. Uh, if I can. Yeah, I have a target around right here. So it's nothing fancy, right? It's nothing fancy. I'm going to break down as to why I took it. Currently, I have two position long in silver. I've just entered like a few moments ago. So, you know, if we look at um, four hours, it, it doesn't look as convincing. But if you keep an eye on the structure, so far we are making high highs and higher lows. Right? And with this as a fake out, came down, came back up, and retested right here on this level adds to the confidence on the daily, right? The daily came down and started to reject. This is the rejection. And this is the Asian session. Okay. So what I'm thinking is that we're going to see price retraces up somewhere around here. And, you know, if it's, if there's a sign of struggle, I'll leave. But if, if, if we transition into London, you know, the European trading session, and we keep falling through, that's great. But again, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, grab everything. If we also look at the, the one hour, you can also see that we have made support. Came down, two weeks, kind of like a week support, right? And then third one. So this now confirms the support in congruence with this one. Both one came up bearish and golf. I mean bullish and golfing, closing below two previous candles into a clean range, which is one direction range, right? Which is bearish, without even without strong wicks. That means that there's a chance of you know price being rebalanced. So that adds up to another narrative of mine. So if you see where I marked up the chart, this is where I kind of expect that price would come on top. One last time before going down. If not, then I have a hard target right here. Around, I don't know what it is, 22.4. would be great, right? So that's, that's, that's it for silver. Uh, at the moment, I saw that this is a bullish engulfing. I entered and entered a bit, a bit more. A few more here. And that's it. That's, that's, that's the, uh, the trade. GBPAUD. Um... Let's look at daily. Fuck. Right. So daily, we have this very strong level. Um, rejected pretty hard. Rejected hard. Milder rejection. 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 And finally, trying to anticipate that history will repeat itself. I'm just assuming that there will be a short-term contraction, an interday contraction, which push GBPAOD down to some degree. Um, I don't have an exact target per se, but I would love to see 
price tapping 50 or the 61 preferably 61 because it just makes more sense just right there so this is where i want to see prices come and tap right okay and beyond that so let's go back to the chart team right we've seen that we have rejected twice and the biggest um narrative to this or the the reason why i take it is because we have broken we have not broken this high right we had a very strong push we came up and we came and we we formed a resistance right here with a long wick right price then later be um uh, gotten pushed by sellers into this kind of range zone um which is then met with a strong buying pressure so here forms the bullish engulfing on the four hour right and then what happens the asian asian session tries to push price up but fail so it's right we we haven't closed above this level of resistance nor have we even tested the high of the previous resistance upper wick so that was the key narrative now if we go down to the the lower time frame for execution we can see that lower highs are being formed especially in the 15 minutes it's much more pronounced lower high lower high Low high. And every time we came up, it just fails to make high high. What does that imply? If we, if we keep on this narrative, if the price keeps failing to make high high, then we're more than likely to trade lower. So that's, that's the two trades I've taken so far. I've just entered another position right here. So, um, I'm in a bit of a drawdown right now. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Good trading.